What is going on guys, Little Dog Dog here, and today I'm bringing you a quest guide for the Chosen Commander. Now this is an up-to-date guide for 2018, not a new 2018 quest. Um, sorry if there's any confusion there, I just wanted to make sure that this, you guys knew this was an up-to-date guide for 2018 in the RuneScape 3 version of the game. Now in this guide, it's done at a 1-to-1 -one pace, which is why the video is so long, so you can follow along at a second screen or your phone and just do exactly what I do and you'll be able to do the quest with no problem. If you do have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below and like and subscribe if this video helped. Alright, so let's get into it. Alright, so to start, the only quest requirement for this quest is Land of the Goblins, but Land of the Goblins has a couple quest requirements itself, so if you have done Land of the Goblins, you're good to go and you've already got all those prerequisite quests done. If you haven't done Land of the Goblins, uh, I have a guide for that as well, but you're going to want to get that one done first. As for your skill requirements, you're going to need to have 46 agility, which is boostable. You're going to need 46 strength and 46 theming. So if you plan on boosting your agility, uh, I'm going to go over the needed items next. Make sure you bring something to boost your agility up to 46. And as for your needed items, you're just going to need one light source. Everything else that you need for this quest is available during the quest. It's possible that you're going to need 5,000 coins, but as long as you follow along exactly as this quest is done, you won't need any coins at all. And lastly, there are some items I'm going to recommend, and those are melee or mage combat equipment. Don't bring ranged. I'm not sure why, it just said on the wiki to use melee or mage, so I'm just rolling with it. Uh, you're going to want to bring around 5 food, more or less, depending on your level. I am level 120, I believe, currently, and I didn't need any food or that super store and prayer potion. Uh, the combat was pretty easy for me, but if you're somewhere around level 70, 80 combat, you're, you might need that. Now to start the actual quest, you're going to want to go to Captain Oldak here in uh, Dorgish Khan. He's in the middle on the bottom floor, or the first floor, whichever one, when you walk in. So before we start the quest, you're going to want to squeeze through this hole here in the Lumbridge Cellar and walk south past the guy who can take you to Dorgashan and make sure that the rubble here is clear. That's going to save us a lot of time later in the quest. And then you're going to want to talk to the guy here, Kazgar, couldn't remember his name for the life of me, and choose the first chat option to go to the Dorgashan Mines. Going to Dorgish Khan. And once you're in, you're just going to walk south to the main area of the city and find Captain Undak. He's got a bit of a ponytail. He's very green. So to start the quest, you're going to talk to Captain Undak. And ask him, can I help with anything? He says you can. Um, say yes here. You already know what they do with the nursery. gonna ask you to check on them, tell them that you'll do that, and then it's gonna bring up the dialogue box to accept the quest. You're gonna to wanna to do that as well. And then just to the north there's a small set of stairs here, you're gonna climb up, and then you're gonna go into the nursery just to the southeast and talk to Mernick. This is the nursery right here with all the little, little goblins walking around inside, and Mernick is the adult goblin. So talk to Mernick, and she's going to tell you that some kids have been poisoned, and you should go outside and talk to her assistant, who has the poisoned children with her. So exit the nursery and talk to her assistant, Torzek, who is just freaking out when you and the captain come talk to her to try and figure out what's happening. So the first chat option you want to choose is Calm Down, I'm Here to Help. Follow that up with Have the Children Eaten Anything Unusual Lately? And then follow that up with What Did They Have? She said that they all had something different, so you have to talk to them. Um, so there are four sick children walking around outside the nursery here. You want to talk to each of them and choose the option of what have you had to eat or what did you eat yesterday. And there will be two items that line up with what they ate. It was um, like a soup, a green soup and some frog legs or something. I don't know. You guys are going to be the same as mine. So all you have to do is talk to them and ask what they ate. There will be some consistencies in the story. And then you're going to go back to Torzek to tell them or to tell her that you know what they ate. So once you've talked to all four, like I said, speak to Torzek. Choose the first chat option. I've worked out which foods are poisonous. And then you're going to want to talk to Captain Undead. Tell him that you've got it figured out which foods are poisonous. And he'll say, let's go to the vendors and find out which merchant's selling the poison. So the merchants are... 
The merchants you want to talk to are the southernmost merchants in the market. So you're going to climb down the same stairs you climbed up. And just run south. I didn't realize it, but right here I actually run and stand right next to a goblin I need to talk to, and then don't talk to him. Um, so I have to go. I go back and talk to him next. So the guys you want to talk to are here at this red and this blue stall on the right and left here, the southernmost ones. So we're going to talk to Murkog first because I didn't realize I was standing right next to the other guy. And choose the first chat option, which merchants have you bought ingredients from? He's going to tell you two, Walton and another guy. And then you're going to go talk to Turgok, who is in, got the red stall there that I was just standing by. And choose the first chat option, which merchants have you bought ingredients from? He'll tell you Walton and another guy. And so you're going to want to go confront Walton, who's just here to the east. Talk to Merchant Walton. And choose the first chat option. This is the one captain. Follow that up with yes, I'm sure. And it'll put you in a little instance here where you have to choose the fourth chat option to attack the merchant. As soon as you start attacking the merchant, there's going to be a little portal that opens behind him. You choose the first chat option. What's that behind you? And Zanuck is going to come out of the portal and help you beat the merchant. So now Zanuck's back. If you remember from the last quest, Zanuck got sucked into a chest and nobody knew where she went. So you're going to get phased back into normal reality and choose the first chat option, or the third chat option. I knew you'd find your way back. Honestly, it doesn't matter which chat option you pick here um, for these first two. Um, so you can choose anyone here as well. I just picked the second one. You've been gone for days. So I figured if you want to follow along exactly, you can pick whatever one. And now this one's important. Yes, what happened at the first chat option. Now this is going to send you into a little instance here where you're playing as Zanuck. Uh, and she's telling you exactly what happened while she was while she was sucked into that crate, essentially. So as Zanuck, you're going to want to run south and then climb on this little goblin statue here to the west. And then you're going to jump on the statues all the way over to the big statue with the water bowl. Up here, you're going to get another little cutscene where Zanuck looks down into the pool, and it's like a scrying pool, and it's actually trained on Zanuck's house. And here, Zanuck is talking to one of the sick kids. If you did choose the chat option when you were talking to the redheaded sick kid, sick kid she said that she had heard Zanuck. So after that little cutscene's over, you're going to want to jump to the next couple statues to the north. And there is a crossbow on the ledge there that you're going to need. So it's just across these three here. Grab that crossbow. And then the statue right there near the ledge, uh, next to the throne, you're going to grapple the spear. You grapple across to the empty throne and grab the pendant. Once you have the pendant, Xanax gonna put it on and hop down from the throne. And then the statues will begin to kneel, including the scrying or pool here. So at this point, you're just gonna wanna run towards the portal on the western end. All the statues will bow and get out of your way so you can actually exit. You might have to click a few times because it doesn't register that the statues have moved. Now once you exit the portal, you're going to return to being your character, and you're going to want to choose the first chat option, let's go, talk to the council. Now this is the north on the second level, so you're on the first level right now, so you just want to run all the way north, that's where the council is located.
climb up the stairs here. And this is going to trigger another cutscene with the council. Now the council is talking to Zanuck and they're trying to figure out exactly what to do with the ham uh, infiltrator. Choose the second chat option, Zanuck and I brought him down together. And just click through the dialogue as fast as you can, because there's a lot of cutscenes. Choose the third chat option, Zanuck is right, you should kill him, doesn't matter which one you pick. Same thing's gonna happen no matter what. And then follow it up with the second chat option, I'll talk to her, once again, doesn't matter which one you pick. So after you pick that chat option there, um, you're gonna get a little black screen here, and it's gonna show another cutscene with you and the prisoner and the captain escorting. And Zanuck is going to shoot the prisoner from across the puddles and run to the south. You're going to want to talk to Captain Undeck here. And choose the first chat option, where should I look, to go find Zanuck. You're going to follow that up with, I'll start looking now. And you're going to want to go all the way south to the Agility Arena. Now you have to cross these two sets of stairs here to get there. So just start by going south. down the stairs again, and up the stairs to the south. Up the other side. And once you get here, you're going to want to climb down the ladder here, just to the south southwest. Now from here, go all the way south down the tunnel that you're currently in. And you're going to find Zanuck at the end of the tunnel here. She's going to be sitting on a stone or something. So you're going to want to talk to Zanuck and choose the fourth chat option to sit down next to her. She'll start to talk and then choose the fourth chat option to say nothing. Say nothing again. Say nothing again. And then choose the second chat option, yes, but you should have respected the council. That chat option doesn't matter, you can pick whichever one. Follow that up with, you wish I had killed him, once again, it doesn't matter. Now this one matters, what did you wish had happened? Choose the first chat option, someday we'll build that world, doesn't matter what you said there. And Zanuck is going to go back to the council. Now the council has to decide what to do with Zanuck now that she killed the prisoner. Choose the first shout out from Zanuck as the hero of the city. Doesn't matter which one you pick. And then follow it up with the third chat option, I have nothing else to say. Now they're going to talk about, ban they're going to, they're essentially saying they're banning Zanuck from the city, kicking her out. So you get to say your final goodbyes here. So talk to Zanuck. And then you're going to choose the fourth chat option, goodbye Zanuck. She'll teleport out. And then you're going to want to talk to Captain Undak. Choose the first chat option, what is this task? And follow that up with the option, I'll do it. Now it's going to give you a full set of ham equipment. So you're going to want to equip all that and unequip everything else, including jewelry, rings, and weapons. Um, so you should just have the ham equipment on. So now you're going to want to go to the original ham cave in Lumbridge. Stone, it's just uh, a little northeast. Now there's gonna be the old well mine entrance here. You gotta pick the lock on that. It might take you a little longer than it took me if you have a lower thieving level. But once you've got it open, you're going to want to go in and then run south to the southern room. 
Now you're going to want to talk to Johannes Ulbricht. And when you're talking to him, you're going to want to choose the third chat option. What are you planning to do about the cave goblins? He says currently they don't really have a plan. They're just talking with the Duke. And then choose the first chat option, where is Sigmund? He tells you that Sigmund is planning something he's not. And then ask, how could I find Sigmund's base? Excuse me. Ugh. Follow that up with, I'll go there now. And you're going to want to go to the mill here, north of the Ardoin Lodestone. talk to Milton the Miller. We'll be mad at you for wearing all the hand clothes, but just choose the second chat option, how do I get into the hand base, and follow that up with the password, Aram. And he just tells you he's going to move the crates so you can get down into the base here. So just climb down the ladder on the north side of the mill. Now that you're in the new ham base, you're going to want to walk around and down the ramp here. Make sure you do not talk to Sigmund. He is the one running. That's how it's, it's easy to identify him. Um, so you're going to want to make your way to the jail guard to the southwest in the building here. You can try and open the door. He'll just ask for your letter to get in. Um, you don't have a letter yet, so you're just going to want to talk to the guard. And choose the first chat option. I need to see the prisoner. Follow that up with letter question mark. He'll tell you about the letters and how they're given out for somebody to interrogate each day. And choose the third chat option, what day is it today? He'll tell you what day it is. Make sure you pay attention to what day it is for you. And then choose the third chat option, never mind. Now you're going to want to look at this notice board to the south. And note the person who has the letter for what day was told to you. So I had gold day, so I had to pick pocket sand. So now we're going to want to go back to the center room where Sigmund is, where he's running around like a crazy man, and pickpocket your person. So I have to pickpocket Sam. Make sure you do not talk to Sigmund or else you'll be kicked out. So right click on your ham agent and select pickpocket. And as long as you do everything right, you're going to get a letter. Now you can take that letter back to the guard. get back to the door you're going to want to use the letter on the guard. It'll tell you that you're good to go in once you do that. So you can just open the door and go in. You're going to want to pick up the key off the floor and open the prison door to speak to the prisoner. Now you're going to find out that it's actually Grubfoot, so just tell him to wait here and tell him you'll come back. That's the fourth chat option, and you're going to exit the room. Now we need to work on getting him out of the prison here. So you're going to want to walk uh, to the kitchen over to the west, open the door, and enter. And then there's going to be a small hole in the wall here in the eastern side of the kitchen. You're going to be in this room now that was locked, so open both doors from the inside. And then you're going to want to go back to Grubfoot to get him into that room. So talk to Grubfoot and choose the first chat option, let's go. He's going to ask you what you're going to do. So choose the third chat option, I'll distract the guard, then you make a break for it. So you're going to want to exit the room here and stand to the north of the guard. If you're standing to the north of the guard and talk to him, his back is going to be the door and he won't see Grubfoot go out of the room. Once Grubfoot's in the other room, you can just say never mind and enter the room that Grubfoot just went into. Now once you're in, you're going to want to talk to Grubfoot. 
and choose the second chat option, wait at the west door, I'll distract the guard. Now you're going to want to climb through that hole that you climbed into to get into this, and it's going to make a noise with the dishes. The guard will come in, and while he's in there talking to you, Grubfoot is going to move from that room to the room to the in the northwestern corner of this room. So just say that I'm making myself a ham sandwich. He'll exit, and you can follow behind him because Grubfoot made it into the next room. So now go into that room with the bunks and talk to Grubfoot. And you're going to want to choose the first chat option for him to follow you. Now you're going to exit the room here from the other door on the northeastern side and try and go through this crate mine, or this crate maze, and go up that ramp. However, you're going to get seen, and Grubfoot is going to attack the guard with some magic. Once he kills the guard, choose the first chat option, let's get out of here. And you're going to go up the ramp and try to exit. Once you do that, you're going to get a cutscene here where a bunch of goblins are fighting with the ham guards and you realize it's a plot, or an attack, led by Zanuck to take care of Sigmund. Now Zanuck tells you to stop Sigmund because he's running, um, so you're going to want to attack Sigmund here and choose the second chat option to give up Sigmund you've lost. You can now re-equip all your equipment and take off your ham ropes because you're going to be fighting quite a bit you're going to want to do that as soon as possible. So Zanuck is going to come help you kill Sigmund. Once you get down to 1 HP, he's going to try and teleport with his ring of life, but Xanik cuts off his hand so he no longer has it. So choose the second shot option, just get it over with Xanik, and you're going to kill Sigmund. Now you have to fight Xanik because she's going crazy. It's possible um, that you're going to fight her more times than you're supposed to because of damage over time effects, like that. You're not able to interact with the dialogue, so you can take those off to prevent them doing damage um, if you have any on your action bar. So the first time, you're going to want to choose the first chat option, I won't kill you, Xanik. And you can track your progress by how many groups are fighting down on the floor below you. So every time you get something right, there's going to be a pair that dies. So the next dialogue option you're going to get, she's going to tell you to give up, and choose the third chat option, Xanik, what happened to you? Got to kill her one more time. Choose the third chat option, does our friendship mean nothing to you? Follow that up with, but am I your enemy? Kill Xanik once again. And choose the second shot option, Xanak, you're being controlled, fight it. Kill Xanak one last time. If you don't have any damage over times. <laughs> and once Bandos is talking through Xanak, you're going to want to choose the third chat option, Xanik, it's dependent, take it off, and follow that up with, you have to do it, otherwise it will win. Now Xanik's going to take the pendant off and throw it to the floor down below, where the high priest is standing, and the high priest is going to pick up that pendant and put it on. Now the high priest is now an avatar of Bandos, like Xanik was, so... He's returning to the Dorgish Khan. Yeah, he's returning to Dorgish Khan, so you guys need to go back as fast as possible. Xanax says, hey, I got a teleport orb. We can teleport there, but it doesn't work. They teleport you somewhere else because there were two of you. So you're going to be in a cave here. You're going to want to head towards the cave exit, but there's going to be an earthquake that separates you and Xanax. So you're going to want to start by clearing the fallen rocks. And then walk to the east and talk to Xanik, who's now on a ledge below you. 
Choose the fourth shot option. Try grappling across with your crossbow. And follow that up with, I can see somewhere it, it could catch it. Now you have to direct Xanax shots. So she should be shooting the same place as you, but you want to get it on that little rock right there, kind of jutting out. So the first option and second options are both right a bit. And they're going to want to follow that up with, you've overshot, go left. She's going to get dejected, tell her, it's alright Xanax, you can do it. And then just a bit further left. First shot option, I'm not leaving you, Xanax. And this time, Xanax's gonna get it and grapple hook over to you. Now you're gonna want to exit the cave by running to the west. And this is gonna place you in the Tears of Guthic's cave when you come out. So now, what you're gonna want to do is run to the north and talk to Juna. the dialogue here where Juna tells Xanik that she's abandoning her destiny and she'll no longer be saved if, when she dies if she does that. Uh, Xanik doesn't care because she doesn't want to be a bad person um, and that's really the end of that conversation. So now once this dialogue is over you're going to want to run north and then west to the tunnel. That's going to take you into the Lumbridge Swamp Caves. Now, if you didn't clear out that rubble, like I asked you to in the beginning of the quest, you might as well just home teleport to Lumbridge at this point. Actually, no, you can't. Um, you can't home teleport without with Xanic, um, so don't do that. You're going to have to go out of the caves and find a way out a different way. You really should have just cleared that rubble. But you're going to want to go north across these stepping stones here. Wait for Xanic, and then it's just straight north from there to get out of the cave. Squeeze through the hole. And then right click on the dude here to travel to the Dorgashun Mines. Wow, I spelled that one. I don't know why I can't remember Kazgar's name, but it's just, it's not happening. Now once you're back here and the Dorgashun Mines, you're going to want to go into Dorgish Khan. And the guard's going to tell you that you need to head to the city center because the captain's looking for you. So do just that, and once you get to the center of the city, you're going to talk to Captain Undak. He's right by the two fountains. Thanks for coming back, ask what happened, go through all the dialogue, and like any good RPG player, you're going to ask, what can I do? Now, the captain's going to tell you what you can do to help. He wants you to start by going back to the council and telling them what's happened. Council. Once you're up here, you're going to get another cutscene with the council talking, and they're going to thank you all for coming back. Now they ask you essentially what you want to do, and what you need to do, and how you can fix it, and they're essentially talking about giving up. Um, choose the first chat option, I'll do my best. And then Xanic, you know, suggests nonchalantly, like, hey, we could fight, you know. And at this point, the council has a change of heart, and it's like, you know what, fuck it. Let's fight. Let's do this shit. Um, you can see the head councilman right here thinking about it. That's why there's no text. And he's like, yeah, let's do it, man. So that's going to be the end of the cutscene there. You need to figure out how you're going to fight it. And that's what the rest of the class is about, is figuring out how to fight Bandos. So you're going to start by climbing up the stairs and talking to the scribe. He has a great idea that, you know, you're probably going to lose, so you might as well get a time capsule so people can remember us. So choose the first chat option. What do you want me to do? Follow that up with the second chat option, I'll help you. And follow that up with the first chat option, I'll go now. So now you're going to want to head to Tegdak's room here. This is on the bottom floor, just under the nursery. 
He's going to have the artifacts that you want to put in the time gift. here, talk to Tegdak, and choose the second chat option, the scribe sent me to get a box of artifacts. He'll give you the box, and you're going to want to go back to the scribe now to get the time capsule. Talk to the scribe once again. the first chat option here it is and he's going to give you the time capsule to very so say i'll go now now he wanted you to take it to mistag who's just out here in the dorgashun mines so you're going to want to head there Talk to Miss Dag, who's just on the other side. Choose the first chat option. Could you bury this time capsule? He's like, you know what? All right, I'll do it. It's a good idea. And you're, now you're going to want to head back to Old Dak's uh, laboratory. Once again, on the first floor, you should be familiar with this place. Once you get back to Oldak's lab, uh, you're going to want to talk to Oldak, and you're going to see that Grubfoot is in there arguing with him. So you're going to ask the first chat option, what are you arguing about? And they're arguing about how Grubfoot can use magical spells, and Oldak thinks it's crazy and that it's all him. So you're going to say Oldak's right, because it is just him and has nothing to do with Bandos. Bandos. And then follow that up with the first chat option, what do you want me to do? Now he's going to tell you that he has some ideas for improving Xanax crossbow, and you need to go to the power plant to get those, you know, things that can improve it. Choose the first chat option, I'll go now. And you're going to want to run all the way back south to the agility course, because that's where the power plant is. Go up and down the stairs. Up the southern set of stairs. Twice. And then you're going to run east to the power plant here. you got to go down a small set of stairs to get in. And once you're down, you're going to want to talk to Turgal. Now choose the second chat option, Old Deck needs a pair of energy projectors and a focusing chamber. They'll give you them no questions asked, and now you're going to want to return to Old Deck, who is now near the portal. So it's where you confronted the merchant, is where you're going to find him, and where Xanet came back through the portal. And once you're over there, you're going to want to talk to Oldak. Choose the first chat option, I have the parts here. 
And then you're going to want to go talk to Zanuck to give her the new crossbow. Choose the first chat option, Old Eck has modified your crossbow, and follow that up with one of the two chat options, it doesn't matter if you want to lie or be honest. third chat option I'll talk to you later and now you're going to want to go back to the nursery to the north where we began the quest with the poison children climb up the stairs And once you're up here, you're going to want to talk to Marinick. She could be inside or outside the building. She just happened to be outside for me. She's going to ask you to do a favor. Uh, say the first chat option, what can I do? Follow it up with the first chat option, I'll talk to him. And she asks you to go talk to the ambassador to see if he'll take the children uh, while this whole fighting stuff's going down. So the ambassador is in the building just to the north. He's a dwarf. Open the door and talk to him. Choose the second chat option. I want to talk about the children. And follow that up with, uh, you coward, because he refuses to it. So return to Marinick To let her know the bad news. Choose the first chat option. I talked to him. He said no. And then the first chat option, once again, nothing, everything is fine. Now once the dialogue here ends, you're going to want to return to Xanik near the portal. Uh, make sure that you're ready to fight, because you're going to go into the main boss fight. If you need to pick up some food or anything, there's a bank right across the way there before you go south and return to Xanik. Remember what I said in the beginning of the video, if you're level 85 plus you're not going to need any food most likely uh, it could be useful to bring some though because you know you have the open inventory space why not so once you get back you're going to want to talk to Zanuck and choose the second chat option I'm ready now she's going to take you into the throne room you'll have a little cutscene here where you walk up to the avatar with Zanuck and you'll immediately be attacked after some dialogue So hit that bitch back. And once you get it down to like 1 HP, you're going to get a dialog box where your character talks to the avatar and Xanik. So choose the fourth chat option, we'll see about that Xanik now, where you tell Xanik to use a special attack on our crossbow. Now some statues here get um, animated. You need to pick up all the pieces of Xanik's crossbow. You cannot pick up the pieces if you're under attack. Um, and they're a little hard to see. So look for the red dots on the minimap. Now when you go near a statue, it's going to animate. But make sure you pick up all four pieces, including the bolts. So you should have the things that you got from the power station, the bolt, and the bow itself. Now use those parts on the bow, and then you go back and kill the avatar. Now Xanax gonna like die in the middle of the fight. So you're gonna want to use Xanax crossbow on the boss when it gives you the opportunity. That's the fourth chat option. And this is gonna kill the boss. The avatar is gonna drop the pendant, so pick up the pendant. And then talk to Xanax. Now you don't actually want to say anything, you just want to choose the fourth chat option to sit down next to her. Follow it up by not saying anything. And Xanik's gonna come back to life and say, Xanik, I thought you were dead. Choose the fourth chat option. It looks like he's gone. I don't know if he's really dead. And follow it up with the fourth chat option again. Here it is to give Xanik the pendant, which she destroys. Once she does that, you're gonna want to exit through the portal that's to the west, the direction Xanik's going. very very long cutscene here um, which basically encapsulates the whole quest series from beginning to end beginning with you know Sigmund 
trying to kill Xanik and you showing her around town. Um, and really just, you know, exemplifying that you're the hero of the quest. You and Xanik are the heroes of the quest. I just clicked through this thing. I was not bothered with it. Um, once you've done that, that's quest complete. You completed the quest line. Congratulations. If this video helped, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, all that good shit. Um, if you're bored and want to watch some of my other videos, I'd appreciate it. And join the friends chat, LittleDogDog15, if you want to have some friends. Bye!